this is our son Matt in Afghanistan. He worked uh, there for several years in uh, aid capacity. And this is Darwaz province, north central Afghanistan. And um, the UN says this is the worst place in the world to have a baby. One out of three women die here from complications of childbirth. So Matt's group well, got the call to go up there, and Matt went up. He was the only one. He flew into Tajikistan, came around, 14-hour jeep ride to the top of the of Afghanistan, walked across the Freedom Bridge and walked 25 kilometers to this place, and they re-engineered an old Russian airstrip that hadn't been used for 30 years, and Matt called in a Cessna airplane from Pactech. That's a group he was working with. And he said, Dad, I slept for six weeks on the floor of a TV clinic. I said, what? He said, I slept with it. Yeah, I heard what you said, but I mean, you should do that. That's a TB active zone. There's bacilli down there. They're after you, and you're going to die. And he says, whatever. <laughs> now, when Matt was in high school, I used to rattle his cage and I said, Matt, you need more suffering in your life. I literally would do that. I'd have a twinkle in my eye, and he would, you know, he knew what. He just was a good kid, but he wasn't deep enough. He just wasn't deep enough. He made good decisions, but he just wasn't deep enough. Now I wish he'd slow it down. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, what I'm saying, Matt's not a perfect kid, and we don't have a perfect family. But uh, for most people in America, contentment is from here to here. But the spectrum I'm talking about is from here to here. Because if you have the nicest house in western Wisconsin, invite Matt to stay with you for two months. He'll love it. He'll eat it up. He'll just look to do it. But, you know, a TB clinic, affordably TB clinic in northern, northern Afghanistan is okay, too. That's freedom. The average American is not free. Oh, the things that matter most. It's Christmas. These things are very important. We, don't have, no we have no time to discuss them. We already looked a little bit about grace. Um, uh, being treated better than we deserve, and we treat other people better than, we, than, than, um, than they deserve. So we pass it on. Goethe said if everybody swept in front of his own house, the whole world would be clean. So you said, I've got business to do at home in front of my own house. Why would I look at your life and, and, and nitpick about it or criticize you? I should be criticizing me and then giving you grace. And that makes for a great faith. There are two, over 2,000 studies that look at the link between faith and health. Almost everyone shows a positive association. And love, that's Christmas. God bless you all. Thanks. Somebody down the hall in your office or across the street needs this kind of encouragement. So you could help us by grabbing a hold of these invite cards and come back next month. It's always the first Thursday of every month. Uh, grab one or two or three of these. If you can help us placing the posters that are at the middle of your table, we appreciate it. We're convinced that part of leadership is thinking of others. And you know of men that can use this kind of message and this kind of perspective and this kind of insight. Dr. Swenson, I want to thank you for, for pouring your heart out for us. And I know that there's going to be a request for you to consider coming back and joining us again sometime. And thank you. Deeply appreciate it.